Good morning. It is Sunday, September 8th, and it is officially my peak week. Um, it's a little after 7 in the morning. I woke up early this morning before my kiddos and um, did my weigh-in. I did some check-in photos, which I'll show you, and a little bit of posing practice. Um, I came in at a new low weigh-in for my prep. I'm 109.2 pounds. So I'm really excited about that and uh, I'm about to go get in some fasted cardio, probably just like a 30 minute run and come back and eat some breakfast and um, hug my kiddos and then go to church. So I'll see you in a little bit. <laughs> So this is breakfast today. I have one egg with about one and a half ounces of ground turkey and um, a quarter cup of egg whites. I have half of a paleo waffle, some butter, some honey, and a little bit of avocado. We're eating with our transformers this morning. And there's Hunter, you wanna say hi? Hi. <laughs> and then uh, Wyatt's busy in the kitchen with dad. So today is the last carb day for me until Friday, so I'll eat carbs today, do really low carb Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then I'll start carving up again on Friday and with carbs Saturday. So I'm going to enjoy these waffles and I'll see you a little bit later today. Hey, so it's a little after 4 p.m. today. I'm making an early dinner because we have some plans this evening to go out and see it's not like a, a bat cave, but I guess it's like this uh, abandoned building that a bunch of bats live in and they all come out at um, dusk. So we're going to go see that this evening and uh, we didn't really eat lunch. We went to church today and then uh, went out and did some shopping, ran some errands, errands and just um, spent some time together. So I'm making an early dinner and I'm making um, some steak. So let's see here if I can show you. So I made steak, um, putting together salad. Got salmon burger and then uh, some sweet potatoes boiling. So I'm gonna make some sweet mashed potatoes. And um, today, like I said earlier, today is my last carb up day for the week. So essentially, it's like my refeed meal day. Um, and then the rest of the week until Friday, I will just deplete carbs. Friday, I'll start carb loading again, and then Saturday, show day, and I'll have carbs on show day. But um, so I'm pretty excited about this meal. It's going to be good. And uh, that's pretty much it. So not a whole lot to vlog today. I'll talk more later about kind of how this prep has gone, why I wanted to do this prep, why I want to do this competition, and um, give you guys kind of the rundown as far as my workouts that I have planned for this week. So I will see you all later. We made it to the Bat Cave abandoned building and we're waiting for the bats to come out. <laughs> so if you can see up on the roof, there's like trees and grass going, growing. It's pretty cool. And um, <laughs> right across the street is the prison. What do you think about the bats? They're gonna come this way? Yeah. Yeah. What are they gonna do? They, they might swoop down to us. <gasps> you getting our hair? They might then your hair. They're gonna get my hair because I don't have a hat on. Yeah. What do you think, Wyatt? Can you grab see the bats? Bats! Yeah! I think you can. You have them talking? Yeah. Oh my goodness. You hear him, Wyatt? Good 
morning. It is Monday, September 9th, and we are on day two of peak week. Uh, yesterday went pretty good. Um, I just did some cardio and spent the day with the family and had a reefy day and ate really good food. So feeling really good today. Wyatt and I just got to the gym. Today is my last kind of big leg day before show. So I'll just do like my normal leg day, lift kind of heavy. Um, do a little posing practice. I'll do a little bit of cardio here and then I'll do a run this evening. So yeah, that's kind of the plan for right now. Tuesday and Wednesday, I'll do um, circuit training and cardio. Thursday, I'm not sure if I'm gonna lift or not or do any circuit training. I'll probably do some light cardio on Thursday. Friday will be complete rest day and travel day and then Saturday show day. Hey, so I didn't film my workout today. It was just kind of crowded in the gym and I didn't want that to be kind of one extra thing on me today to try to do. So I got a really good leg workout in. I did a little bit of shoulders. That way I could lift heavy today and then the next few days like I talked about, they'll just be kind of circuit training depletion workouts. But I'm gonna show y'all a little bit of my posing practice. In my mind, all the things I never close my eyes in the skies on fire. I can't waste another night sitting here alone. We can do it all again, and I'll never let you go. back from the gym it's about 1 p.m. and I made my salad it is spinach and arugula about five ounces of chicken I have a little bit of feta cheese in there um, some dried cranberries walnuts and cashews and I don't really count the spinach and the arugula as carbs for this meal the cashews and walnuts and dried cranberries do have a little bit of carbs in them but it's not very many so I'm not worried about it and then I top it with the Bragg vinaigrette, which has been one of my favorite salad dressings. Normally I just use olive oil whenever I'm not in prep because I like the way it tastes and it's really healthy for you and it's just one ingredient. So I always go for like whole foods like that, but I believe one tablespoon is like 120 calories and I don't even know how many grams of fat, but I can't have that in my macros right now. So. I'm gonna enjoy my salad while Wyatt sleeps, and then once he wakes up, I'll make him some lunch, and we have to go pick up Hunter later on today. And that's pretty much it. <laughs> Alright, so let's talk about my prep and why I wanted to do this competition and just kind of like all the things to fill you in on the last 15 weeks. Um, before I do though, it is Tuesday afternoon, Wyatt and I just got home from the gym, he's asleep in the car so you might hear my car running and I hope it's not too distracting, but I got a chest and back circuit in today, I really just did lightweight, a whole lot of reps to kind of burn out the muscles, I did 30 minutes of cardio and then I did some posing practice, so we're back at home now. Um, so this is the year that I turned 31. I turned 31 back at the end of May, and I have been wanting to do a bikini or bodybuilding competition since I was 19. I got really into working out whenever I was in the military, and I, I loved it, I enjoyed it, and I, I didn't really know what to do though. Like I liked working out, I saw people do competitions, but I didn't know like how you got into it or anything, so I, I never did one. And then as I got older, um, I learned a little bit more about it. I learned, you know, like how to enter a competition and, um, you know, I knew that you needed to be in prep. And 
I think it was like three years ago, it was whenever Hunter was a little older than one, I started doing a prep, but I didn't have a coach. I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't really research it. I was just like, oh, I need to like eat healthy and lose some weight and build some muscle. And um, so that prep didn't go good. And I ended up not doing a competition. And then I got pregnant and I had another baby. So that postponed it again. And so when I turned 31 this year, I something just like clicked. I had enough and I got tired of seeing other people fulfill my dreams. I got tired of watching them do what I wanted to do. Why wasn't I doing what I wanted to do? So, sorry, totally just dropped my camera. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I, I got tired of watching other people fulfill my dreams and do what I wanted to do. I was seeing women that I was in the army with do competitions, girls I went to high school with do competitions, girls that I know locally do competitions and on prep. And so I was just like, well, why am I not doing this? Why am I not in prep? So I started looking into competitions and when they were, and the one that kind of fit with my timeline was September 14th, which is coming up this weekend. It's the Iron House Classic down in McAllen, Texas. And that's like a six hour drive for me. There have been other ones that are in the Houston area, the Dallas area, the Waco area, San, um, no, not San Marcos, but San Antonio. And so those would have been a whole lot easier to go to, but timeline wise, it just didn't line up. So the McAllen one is the one that I'm doing. So I started prep um, at the beginning of June and that put me out 15 weeks out and the beginning of my prep I feel like it was going really good like the first week I dropped two pounds I was so excited I was like oh man like this is gonna be so easy I don't know why people struggle with this I've already lost two pounds in one week well the next week I had already gained like a pound or two back so I was already back at my starting weight um, I had been lifting a lot so I think my body was kind of inflamed I was holding on to some water um, your muscles do that after you lift and you're recovering. And I sat at that weight for like a good three weeks, I think. And I was so frustrated. I was like, oh man, like this is hard. I'm not dropping any weight. But what I was seeing were changes in my body composition. I was seeing changes in the mirror and I liked it. So I kept going. I knew that my body was getting smaller because I was losing fat and I was putting on muscle. I felt more toned even though the scale really wasn't changing and it hasn't really been till more of like the end of my prep or like the second half of my prep that I've really been losing weight like today I came in at a new low weigh-in of 108.2 pounds and I started this prep at about 116 pounds so I've only lost eight pounds but I've made some major changes in my body there's been some hard days there's days that I definitely wanted to eat more you know I've was a big snacker before I went to bed and I've kind of given myself a, a feeding window on this prep where I have to stop eating at a certain time in the evening the kitchen's closed I'm not allowed to have anything and it's been hard like I feel like I'm going to bed hungry but what's helped me is just to know that I get to eat again tomorrow I'm gonna be okay I have a goal in mind this is something that's really important to me another thing that I feel kind of hindered me on my prep was it's really hard to go all in on something whenever you're scared. So I was really afraid to kind of put in all of this effort and then what if I didn't like my body? What if I didn't like being lean? What if I didn't like being smaller? What if I didn't like having more muscle? And so I was taking my body to a place that I haven't really been before and I'm doing something with it that I've never done before. So that was a little scary, um, but I feel like I've pushed back pushed past that I really like the way my physique is looking I would have loved to come in leaner for this show um, lighter smaller tighter but you know it's my first show and I'm so happy with the progress that I've made and I think this just kind of sets me up for success for future shows I'm getting the experience of this show and I'll know what I need to do for future shows um, so yeah, I'm just uh, really excited to go out there on Saturday. I'm gonna have fun. I don't care how I place. I don't care if I win. I don't care if I get anything. I'm just so happy to have this experience. Finally, after 12 years, I'm a mom of two. So it's, um, 
it's a little intimidating to do that after you've had kids, after your body has changed, after your belly has, you know, swollen a couple times and shrunk down and you have a little bit of extra skin, like it's not tight and toned like I was when I was 19, but I'm really proud of the progress that I've made and where I'm at. If you can take anything away from this, I hope it's to fulfill your dreams and to stop watching other people fulfill them for you. Oh, so I totally kind of missed something really big with my prep. Um, I didn't have a coach for this prep. I have learned everything on my own. I have researched so much about um, NPC bikini competitions and bodybuilding. I feel like I have a good background already with health and fitness and working out. I've been working out since I was in high school. I have a good base with nutrition. I know um, what foods that serve my body well. I eat a lot of whole foods. I know what foods I need to avoid. Um, so really being in prep, for me, it was dialing in my macros and decreasing my calories. My workouts kind of stayed the same. I have been working out consistently for a year now. And then, so I felt like I had like a really good base um, to start with before I actually went into prep. So if you're looking to do a prep, I suggest that you have a good foundation of exercise and, and nutrition before you start. So don't go from not working out at all to being like, oh, I wanna do a prep. Um, or you know, if you do go that route, make sure that you have a coach or a mentor or somebody to guide you. But for me, I kinda had that knowledge base. I don't really have the finances right now to hire a coach and I wanted to learn more on my own. I wanted to, to do this and um, see what I'm capable of. So I have been calculating my own macros, been counting my, my calories. I designed my whole workout routine um, and I'm really happy with how it turned out. I know that I could have pushed myself harder and I think that that's the benefit of having a coach is really having that accountability and having somebody to really push you and give you a little bit more guidance but I've also had my husband to kind of be that objective eye for me and tell me when I need to push harder and when I'm kind of slacking off and when I need to be more strict with my diet. So that's been helpful. And I also have had a lot of virtual mentors. So a couple of resources that have really helped me are some podcasts and some YouTube videos. So the podcasts that I've been listening to are the Prep Life podcast and it's two IFBB um, bikini professionals, and they have a podcast that talks about like all things prep. I also follow um, Redefine Healthy Radio, which is um, Paul Ravella and Lauren Conlin, I believe is her name, and they also have a YouTube channel, or they have their own YouTube channels, but they put out a lot of great information about competing as well. I follow people like um, Buff Bunny and Kerrigan Pike and Taylor Chamberlain, on YouTube. They've really been great inspirations for me. They've shown me their prep journeys, their bikini competition journeys, and then just like their lifestyle. So they've been fun to watch, especially on um, cardio days. And then the last one that I want to mention, which is a huge one right now, is the IFBB bikini professional Lacey Green. Um, you could follow her on Instagram or Facebook, but she has designed a bikini competition academy, which gives you all things bikini prep related. So she's not your coach. She's not gonna design a workout program for you or give you um, your meal plans or nutrition advice, but she's gonna tell you everything you need to know about NPC bikini competing because whenever she started, she didn't have anything like that. She had a coach, but she was kind of left in the dark about a lot of things as far as like show day, heels, bikini, tanning, um, the night before show, what to do after show. So she's developed this amazing program, which I'm a part of, and it's super affordable. It's only $27 a month. And if you go to bikinicompetitionacademy.com, or you can search it on Facebook and you can find her on there, but that has been a huge resource for me as well. Um, but yeah, I just kind of wanted to add that, that this for me has been self-made. Like I've made this happen with my own knowledge, my own research, um, and I think it just goes to show that if you want something bad enough, you make it happen. I didn't make the excuse that, well, I don't have money, I can't afford a coach, I, I'm not going to be successful in this, so I can't do it. But um, that's kind of the last thing I wanted to share about my prep. 
Um, I think that's all I'm really gonna vlog today. Tomorrow is Wednesday. I need to show you my skin prep routine for my tan. And then Thursday, I'm gonna show you what I'm packing for my show. And um, Friday, we head to the show. go get my nails done um, my husband got home I guess probably like a little bit after six and I thought all the nail salons stayed open until like eight so I was kind of like messing around editing some videos on my computer and um, posting on social media and before I knew it it was like 6 45 and I was gonna leave and then I found out all the nail salons had either closed at 6 30 or they closed at 7 so I did not get my nails done tonight so that'll be tomorrow so instead, I'm going to pack a little bit of my stuff tonight, and then I wanted to show you what I'm packing, um, not everything, but just like a few things. So, And I also want to talk to you about uh, my skin prep routine for my tan, so let's go ahead and start with that. So I will get my first coat of tan Friday at 5.30 before the um, athletes meeting and check-in. And what the lady told me to do was two weeks before my tan, I need to start exfoliating every other day. And then whenever I'm one week out, I need to exfoliate every, yeah, every day, not every other day, every day. So um, I've been using this. It's just like a coconut scrub, and I really like it. It leaves my skin feeling nice and soft afterwards. I haven't had any issues with it, so that's worked good. You can also use, like, the exfoliating gloves if you don't want to use, like, a scrub. And then she said make sure that I use plenty of lotion um, every single day. So I've been doing that. This bottle is almost gone. It probably started maybe about half, and I've kind of emptied it, so I've been using quite a bit. And um, I need to shave Friday morning or Thursday night, and I think I'm going to shave Thursday night. That way, I'm just not in such a rush Friday morning, because you have to shave your entire body. Like, I never shave my arms, um, so, like, I have to shave, like, my entire body. Like, even all these, like, little hairs, they have to go for the tan. So, that'll kind of take a little while. Um, so the other things I wanted to show you are, for my show, I'm going to be doing my own hair and makeup. So I have my show day makeup, and um, basically they're like um, false eyelashes because I don't get lash extensions. I wish I could. Um, I bought a darker foundation. So it's not going to be quite as dark as my tan, but it will be pretty dark. You want your face to kind of be in between what your natural skin tone is and what your tan color is and you don't ever spray your face from what I heard because it makes your makeup just look really muddy and you don't want your lip to look like that. Um, with that I got like a, a darker compact. Let's see, I have a really pretty eyeshadow, or I'm sorry, this is my contouring kit, which I'm still kind of playing with because I never contour my face, but I've played with it a little bit and um, so we'll see how it goes on show day. Uh, my eyeshadow it's pretty simple I do have um, some pretty plum eyeshadow that I just bought that I'm gonna use um, to kind of accent my eyes my sister-in-law is like the makeup guru and she recommended it so I'm gonna play around with it and um, I think that it'll help um, I have some finishing spray so once I get my makeup done I'm gonna set it with the finishing spray and hopefully it'll kind of hold all day and I like being able to do my own makeup, that way I can do my own touch-ups because morning show is super early and you're getting your makeup done like really early and the night show could last, you know, it could be like 11 p.m. before you finally go on stage. So um, I like kind of having my own stuff, that way I can fix my own makeup if I need to. And getting your makeup and your hair done is super expensive. Um, the 
place that we're having the show at, if you want to get your hair and makeup done, it's $300. And um, I've already spent quite a bit of money to do this show, and $300 is not realistic for me. So, um, doing this on a budget, bodybuilding on a budget. Okay, so the other thing I wanted to show you is this uh, cute bag that I got from Charling, I'm sorry, from Charming Charlie. And uh, they're closing down, but I got this really cute bag before they closed. So in this bag, I have my bikini and my jewelry and just kind of a few like emergency things that I might need, like uh, super glue, because some of the rhinestones on my suit have come off. So I do have super glue in case I need to fix them. And then I also have a hot glue gun in case anything happens to my heels or my suit and I just need a hot glue gun. Or if any of the girls backstage need a hot glue gun, I have one. So kind of be prepared. Um, this thing is a pea funnel and I have not used it yet. I should probably try that before show day or before I get my tan. It's like a camping funnel. And the reason why you need this is uh, because once you get your tan, if you get anything wet on it, it's going to leave some marks. So if you're peeing and there's any like splashing and you get pee on yourself, then they're going to know. So um, apparently you can just pee into this and stand up and pee. I don't know how I feel about peeing standing up, but I guess you can probably squat over the toilet and pee into this too, and it'll just kind of like funnel your pee. So I have three of them. Um, I plan to just kind of like wash it out, like rinse and reuse it, because they're not just disposable ones, but, um, so I'll let you know how that goes. What else is in my bag? So in the bottom compartment, I have my beautiful bikini, which you've seen on me and just kind of like my physique updates, but my top, I'm really happy with it. Um, it's made by Amber Bikinis and I found them on Etsy. I originally bought this as a posing suit, um, but I, I like it so much that I just wanna wear it. And I love the emerald green color. And these are the bottoms. So pretty excited to wear this suit. And it was uh, really affordable, so if you're on a budget, my suit only cost $120, and um, I think that it's very good quality for the price. Most suits are going to be anywhere from like four to $600. Um, you can find ones that are cheaper, like what I found, especially if it's your first show, like, you know, do what's affordable for you. You may not even like the sport, and then you just spent like $400 on a bikini that you're never going to wear. Um, so I'm really happy with this one. Again, it was Amber Bikinis, and it's on Etsy. The other thing that I have is my jewelry case, and this was also from Charming Charlie. Um, so I have my show earrings, which I got on Amazon, and I believe they were like $11, but they're really pretty. And I have a backup set of earrings that I got from Charming Charlie. I don't think I'm going to wear these. I think I like the other ones more. Um, and these, I think, were like $16. So all my jewelry has been like super affordable. This is a really old bracelet that I had. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna use it. And then this one came free with my bikini from Amber Bikini. So I'll definitely wear this one. And I'm gonna wear these earrings. And everything just kind of goes in my cute little case. So that's nice. I have my heels. They're Ellie heels. And they are just basic heels. Um, excuse them, they're kind of dirty because I've been posing in them a lot. but. They're just um, clear, clear heel. These are five inches. Um, I wear a size five, I have teeny tiny feet, and I do have the ankle straps. Um, I have chose to get the ankle straps because I was afraid that whenever I'm walking, I, I don't walk the best in heels, so I kind of wanted that extra support. The only thing that I'm fearful about, about having the strap is that if I'm waiting backstage for a while and I'm in my heels, like my legs are gonna get kind of tired, I would, want to kind of get out of them, but once you're locked in, you're kind of locked in. So we'll just see how it goes. If I don't like it, then I'll get a backup pair of heels next time and um, get ones without straps. These were from Amazon. I think you can probably buy them other places too, but I like Amazon for the free shipping. And I believe they're like $50. So not too bad. I'm gonna pull my shoe. So we have a visitor, this is Wyatt. Other things I'm gonna pack for my show is I have a black satin robe that I'll wear over my suit on show day. And then I also have a pair of um, really dark warm ups. So I have like some black jogger pants and a black long sleeve loose fitting shirt that I'll wear after I get my tan because once you get your tan, you don't wanna wear anything 
really nice. Um, you want to wear dark long sleeve clothing. Don't put them on your face. It's dirty. Hey, Bella. Um, what else? I'm going to take flip-flops with me. Here you go. And then I'm also going to take a, a set of... Oh, no, no, no. I need my shoes. <laughs> I need to get this. I need to get this. <laughs> um, I'm also going to take a set of sheets with me to the hotel room because once I get my tan and you get on those white sheets at the hotel, they are going to charge you for them if you mess them up. So it's always recommended that you take an extra set of sheets. Okay. And... Um, that's kind of it. That's all I can think of right now. Ah. I'm sure there's other things that I'm going to pack, but they're probably not as important as what I just showed you. Um, I'll take my hair stuff, my blow dryer, my curling iron, my hairspray, dry shampoo, because Friday morning will be the last time that I shower until after the show on Saturday. So I'll be pretty gross. And, uh, that's it. You want to say bye? Say bye. All right. Well, um, tomorrow... I am doing cardio and yoga. Today was my last lifting day. I did a bicep, tricep, and shoulder circuit with 30 minutes of cardio. I did a little bit of glute work today too, just to kind of give the glutes a pump. And um, yeah, tomorrow is just a cardio day, some yoga to help kind of decrease inflammation. I'll probably do an Epsom salt bath. Hey, babe. Hello. <laughs> and um, I think that's da -da. it. Pack for the show, get my nails done, and I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye. Good morning. It is Thursday, September 12th, and I'm two days out from my show. I weighed in this morning at 107.4 pounds, so that's a new low for me, and I'm happy that yes. I'm still dropping weight on peak week. Um, Wyatt and I are about to go get in my last cardio session. I'm probably going to go for like a light run, um, like 40 minutes or so. I just kind of see, and then I'll do some yoga today to kind of relax and stretch out my muscles before show day. I kind of have a busy day. We're going to run some errands. I have to go to HEB to get some food for show day and for my trip tomorrow. Sorry, there's a car alarm going off. Um, I'm gonna pack. I have to pack up all my kids stuff too because I'm gonna take them to my mom's house She's gonna watch the kids for us while we go out of town this weekend and um, That's about it get my nails done this evening So I wanted to go ahead and close out the vlog here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it I hope that this inspired you to go after your dreams and stop watching other people fulfill them for you. Please subscribe. I'm going to continue to do some vlogging. I'm going to do a show day vlog. I'll do a what's next vlog for after my show. I'll do an about me video so you can um, learn about me and see what I've done throughout my fitness journey. But again, thank you so much for watching and I'm going to leave you guys with some clips from my prep. Enjoy. Take me back to the nights we felt alive Picking up the pieces on a summer night I didn't know that I would feel just like my heart's on fire Whenever I'm with you Cause we go back in time to thrills I miss And all the things I wish we did All I know is that I need somebody like you Cause I can't waste another night sitting here alone Hoping for your voice on the telephone I know it's a super cut as you walk away Playing in my mind all the things I never Close my eyes in the sky